Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for an, all the nice links. Uh, also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So I'm sorry guys, I haven't been able to make a video in a little while. Um, like a week, basically, since I came back. But I've been working full time from like 7 to 5, something like that-ish. And I got to drive two hours as well. Uh, so it's been taking up all my time. But I do want to keep working on this. Uh, the sad thing is I kind of keep forgetting what what's going on here, right? So, uh, But we'll just keep going. I think in the last video we were working with enemy spawner into the <coughs> editor mode. Um, right here, enemy editor mode. So pretty much able to place enemy spawners. Um, <clears throat> right here somewhere. Right here. Okay, but when we remove stuff, we're removing tiles as well. Um, so we need a way in tile map to tell what kind of a what kind of a tile I'm looking at right now. So to do that, we need to remember there is an internal map structure here, right? And it contains all kinds of tiles and everything. Um, so yeah, it contains all the different tiles. Um, and we have a tile type as well, so we should be able to get that type and check. Now, for that to happen, we need to kind of keep this updated. So, we need to check with enemy spawner tile types. Uh, that's good. Okay, so let's just go ahead and make a little function here. Um, check type, I guess. Hmm, let me think. Let's think together. Okay, let's think. I should have done this before I started the video. I'm sorry. But right here, I want to do tile type, a tile map, check type with. Uh, okay, and it should return a Boolean. Okay, so see there? Look look at that. Look, we can, we can work together and everything will be fine. Um, I'm going to put that under functions, actually. So I'm just going to do a little Boolean here. Const Boolean bool okay bool um straight up swag uh check type okay and then const int <clears throat> type as a const as well okay very very simple function nothing nothing special um and then define that go into that I know one of you told me how to kind of work with these shortcuts quicker, uh, but I don't remember. I'm sorry. I, uh, there are a few shortcuts you can use in Visual Studio that really help you out, um, but I will check those out and get back to you. Just like the stuff I just did, but you can do it even faster. Uh, so here I'm going to do a little check. Return this map at position. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to give it all that stuff as well. So we're going to have to check it with a position. So I'm going to grab one of these. Um, should be here somewhere. One of these functions. Uh, ah, I'll just look at it here. Okay, so one of these functions. So constant. Z -Z -Z. Mm -hmm. So add tile is pretty much the same in that sense. So I'm just going to put all that in here. grab all that stuff and put it right here up here okay so once we have that we have the x um whoops i'm used to c sharp x y z okay <clears throat> and how does that work again hold up hold up hold up hold up where is it add add tile add tile add tile God damn it. Oh, here we go. Okay. So, X, Y, Z, and then you push back the tile. So, at X, Y, Z, there should be a pointer. Uh, okay. And that's the layer, I'm guessing. Okay. All right. So, X, Y, Z. Uh, zero? Something like that? Okay. That should give me a tile back. And then get type. 
equal to type so that will return something that's very nice okay cool all right oh so that's the layer that's the layer okay layer zero and then z would be okay so you want to do the dot back at the end because that will get the most um backward no how do you say the, the item that's at the back of that vector all right so the last item so that's how we're going to check it if your enemy spawner is above or beneath the tile it's not going to work you have to remove the tile first so but if it's here at the top where you're working with it and you uh and you want that item from the top you just use the back dot back so once you do that let's go in here let's make a little if statement if I could just copy this basically uh at least that part if this tile map get type okay I'm grid x and then zero the actual layer right now this layer okay we don't have a layer so we'll just put zero there and then we'll say uh, tile types enemy spawner so if you get that tile back and it's correct um tile, of course it does what are you talking about check type check type okay so once you get that it should remove the tile so let's just try ahead go ahead and try that shit hopefully it'll work uh editor do that just go ahead and load your map as well so we placed a few enemy spawners and now you can just remove them and it doesn't remove the tiles or anything else so it's going to check the type and it's just going to remove that <clears throat> very nice very nice okay so at least that's done at least that's done very nice okay so that's good all right now um to continue on at least we have that function now we could add some stuff in remove so in remove we could have done kind of the same thing we could just check if the last one you know, you have some kind of a variable coming in, like what type you want to remove. And then we'll only remove that type. So I think we're going to use that later. So I'm thinking of putting that in as well, uh, just to have that. Um, we might want to use both. You know, that's the thing with an engine. You want to have some functionality uh, so you can customize it. You can use stuff either way. Okay, it should be up here. Tile empty. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, there we go. We check it for empty at the end. That's how I used end basically same way. Um, okay, tile map. <clears throat> Add tile. Here we go. Remove tile. Okay, so once we're here, um, we could we could give it a type, and if we give it a type, then it's gonna kind of use that type only all right so i'm just gonna do a constant um type i'm just gonna give it minus one as a default kind of thing uh const int type because if we have it at minus one then we don't want to use that functionality but if we put a number in here then we want to check okay so if it's not empty at that point it's okay to remove the tile and then um, if type, okay, if type, you can basically just, if type is greater than zero, um, then we're going to do some stuff. So here we go. So if it's greater, else... delete we're just gonna delete whatever else we're gonna check for type so if this type no this map at this position um, dot back 
get type. Okay, if it's not empty, so we already checked the empty part, so that's good. Uh, so at the back, we're gonna get type equal to type. Then we're gonna delete it. Okay. Otherwise, we're just gonna delete whatever it is. And we're gonna comment this out. All right, so let's let's try that function instead. Let's see if we just, we kind of just go down where we're working. And I think it was in, where was it? What? Oh no, it's in tile map. Oh, there we go. I don't know. It should it should be here. Remove. Oh, here it is. Okay, okay. Uh, right here. I'm dumb. I'm tired. Uh, so we just comment that out. Basically, we don't need it. And then in here, I'm just gonna give it a type. Enemy spawner, and we run that. Hopefully, that should work. And if that works, then we're good. Just adding some functionality here. You know what I'm saying? Load. Okay, so that works as well. So it's not removing anything else. It's only removing the enemy spawners. And good. So that's a little easier way to do it. Um, we did both because you might want to use this check type later. And also, to be honest, because I didn't think of the other way first. So we're honest in this channel, okay? We're not, we're not going to lie to each other here. Uh, but it's good to have that function anyway, okay? It's good to have it. And this is, yeah, this is just like an extra thing, all right? So it's going to remove enemy spawners. Uh, but this opens up a whole new world to us in other editor modes because we can kind of lock what we're trying to remove. And then I'm going to add some more variables to this. Maybe we can add how many you want to remove and blah, 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 all that shit. Uh, anyway, that's good for now. We'll keep working in the next one. Hopefully my sound was good because I kind of changed my pop filter. But if you if you have any problems, you just go ahead and tell me uh, in the description box. No, not in the description box. You can't write there. You know, comment section. All right. But take care. Keep working hard. Good luck. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Right. Bye bye.